Ooh, yeah. That is tough. All right. Um, do I go with the right-wing religious fundamentalist nut or the rotting maggot-infested corpse? Hmm. God, this is truly a lesser of two evils here. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Got to go with the corpse. Got to go with the corpse because that guy is fucking insane. That guy is nuts. That guy actually believes, he believes that calico cats are a sign of the devil. They're messengers, they're harbingers of the devil. Do you know that? He believes that. Your attorney general believes that black tabbies are harbingers of the devil. That's what he believes. And let's extrapolate that a little bit. That means that the attorney general actually believes in the devil. He believes in a little red guy in the big fiery fire and brimstone place that's way below us. We haven't figured it out, found where it is. I mean, it's billions and billions of light years. I think it takes like, I think it takes like uh, literally like uh, 17 million years to get there to hell or heaven. But it's somewhere down here, you know, somewhere way down here when you go straight down to it. Unless, of course, the earth is rotated and then you have to go up and then around. And then they, you know, because earth, uh, hell is always there. I don't think it just rotates with the earth. I'm not sure how that works, but uh, they didn't have science when they wrote the Bible. So they're fucking morons anyway. So they don't. So they're all guessing that it's down here. It's way below us. The prince of darkness got in a fight and got thrown out of heaven. And then, so that means he believes in a devil guy with a fucking tail with a hook in it and horns, you know, and a pitchfork. He's a little guy with a pitchfork. <laughs> I'm the devil. Hey, devil pitchfork for? That's for, so I can do my hay work. All the hay that burns up on contact here in hell. No, all right, well, I'll tell you what it's for. My pitchfork is to give, give evildoers little pokes in the tuchus. <laughs> That's what it's for. That's what the pitchfork's for. <laughs> ah, Hitler. Ah, get back to gnashing your teeth. I'm the devil. Ha! <laughs> Fucking. The devil wants your soul. When is that contest going to be over? When do they fucking calculate the souls in heaven and hell and they go, we got a winner. We got a winner. Contest is over. All right. It's absurd, man. And then he also believes, Ashcroft also believes... Well, yeah, you know, besides that other stuff, he gets anointed with cooking oil by his daddy every time he takes office, because it's in the Bible. Do you know that? And he spent, you know, instead of, like, uh, helping to prevent September 11th with all the clear information he had, he would rather spend time and money draping uh, a statue of the uh, Lady of Justice, Lady Justice, whatever. Um, that's, he had it draped, because the um, Lady Justice has a bare breast showing. A, do you hear what I'm saying? A dirty, dirty, filthy titty. Filthy. You women should be ashamed of having those things. Fucking clo clothe those things. Put cloth on them. Lots of cloth. And don't stop there, man. Go get a burqa. Wear that thing, too, man. Because this is... I see a lot of sex in here, too. It's dirty, filthy, dirty, dirty titty. Dirty, dirty titty. And I, you know, I kind of know what he's going... I mean, I know, I can relate, because uh, uh, several years ago I went to Europe, and, you know, I went to... Uh, I was in Florence, Italy, and I was at the Uffizi uh, Art Gallery. It's beautiful, all this, like, you know, 16th century uh, Italian Renaissance artwork. It's gorgeous, man, just beautiful stuff. And I, I, like Ashcroft, you know, I went through the same thing, where I just could not help myself. And I was there, and I'm, like, looking at all this beautiful artwork, and I fucking tore that fucking painting down and just started fucking it. Fuck that fucking painting! Fuck it! Fuck it! Fuck! Beautiful fucking erotic, erotic pornography! Because a naked woman equals porn. Fucking, I can't go to museums. I can't go to museums without fucking just dropping my pants and going, fuck! Fuck! Right? I mean, yeah? Right? Because it's dirty, it's filthy and erotic, a naked woman. Oh, fucking, you just want to rape it. <laughs> rape that painting, man. Rape the fuck out of that fucking statue. Because you know Ashcroft, you know, he's going in there at night, you know, when there's, you know, the janitors are gone, you know, and he's like getting in there at the fucking halls of justice and, you know, just sitting there like, hum, hum. <laughs> Hum, hum, hum. 
Oh, he loves that cold stone titty. Oh. Lady Justice, why won't you be my wife? Won't you be my click, huh? Oh, uh, clean it up, clean it up, clean it up. All right. Oh, man. Yeah, that guy's... Uh. But you know what? Look, it's our fault. It's our fault that Bush is in office. It is. The reason he got as many votes as he did was because basically Americans can be very stupid, greedy, and short-sighted. People actually vote in this country on one issue. What? He wants to take my gun away. I don't got to listen to anything else. Fuck it. He's out. I don't give a goddamn. Four, you can do whatever he wants for four years. Just don't take my gun away. What? You're a fucking asshole and you shouldn't vote. You shouldn't vote. You shouldn't have the right to vote. Well, you know, people vote and they don't inform themselves and they're willfully ignorant in this country. They don't want to know. I don't want to know. Bill O'Reilly said and that's good enough for me, you know. And, and the, he got his, the reason he got as many votes is, one, because people were stupid enough not to necessarily to vote for him, but vote against the guy who was just in office, who's not even running anymore. They hated Clinton so much they voted against Gore. And that's stupid. And then the other reason is because of the fucking tax cut. That awesome tax cut that worked out so well, didn't it? Everybody's going to get a check for $300. $300. Oh, boy. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hey, hang on a second here, Governor. Hang on a second, Governor Bush. Okay. You're saying, man, let me get this shit straight. Because I heard what Gore said. Now I want to listen to what you said. You're saying if I give you my vote, then for four years, you can do whatever you want, roll back any fucking law you want, appoint any judicial, federal judge, Supreme Court judge, anybody you want, fucking change all the all laws in the land, you can do whatever you want for four years, but I'm going to get a check for $300 <laughs> once. Uh, wait a second, Slick. Hang on. I ain't done with you. Come here. Turn it back. Turn it back. Come here. Okay, that's fine, man. I could use that $300. I surely could. I could use it. My family could use it. My neighbors could use it. Our whole town could use it. What about your rich friends? What about all them millionaire, billionaire friends of yours? They're not going to get any of our money, right? They don't get any money back, do they? Well, no. They actually get millions and millions of dollars back. But I still get my 300. <laughs> All right, you got my vote, man. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to buy me a hammock. Hey, hey wing, ding, doodly, ding, ding, do. I'm a dumb motherfucker. Mm -hmm -hmm. And I vote. Woo. That should be a bumper sticker. I'm an ignorant motherfucker who just watches network news and I vote. Mm. Yeah. But I will give Bush credit uh, for one thing, and it's something he deserves credit for. Uh, because, you know, I, you know, look, I've been slagging him, but let's be fair. Uh, I, will, I will give him credit for having the courage and, uh, and the balls to, you know, in the face of dissent and in the face of logic, to still be able to find it within himself to execute retarded people. <laughs> I think that's, and it's something his dad did, and he's doing it too, and I think it's awesome. I mean, he's got to, obviously got to reconcile with the, that with the fact that he's a born again Christian, which must be very difficult, but he's able to do it, to find the strength within himself to do it. And I couldn't do it, um, you know, simply because they're fucking retarded. They're fucking, they don't know what's happening to them as they're being led to the execution chair, you know, the electric chair. They're fucking, they think they're going on a ride. That's all they know. They're being let out of the cell, people taking pictures of them. Ha ha, hello, hello, ha ha, hello. Strapped in the electric chair. Ha ha, seatbelt for my arm, seatbelt for my arm, seatbelt for my leg, seatbelt for my head. Ha 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 Wait a second, this isn't a ride. And, you know, that's their last thought. This isn't a ride. And then... And then America's a better place. It's truly a better place. I, somehow, I don't even know sometimes when people are executed or retarded people are executed, but I just sort of know it instinctually because I get a little spring to my step. You know what I mean? I don't even have to hear it on the news, but I'm like, hey, wow, what's... Is it me or is America a better place now? This is awesome, yeah. 
And here's a fact. This is a true fact. Did you know that every...